Hey, this is John. This is something here that I found at Mayfield, Kentucky in this little park. And I'm not 100%, but I believe that this is a horse watering fountain. Uh, they used these back when horses were used more for transportation before the days of cars and trucks and all that. But anyway, uh, here's the horse watering fountain. They've also got one in Paducah that looks very similar to this. I'll kind of show it to you. First, let's look at this little plaque here. It says, 1911, presented by the National Humane Alliance, Harmon Lee Enzyme founder. And I believe this top part here is where you could uh, water your horses. And down here, there was a little place where uh, dogs could drink from. I'll kind of go around so you can see this really good. Again, there is one in Paducah that I've taken pictures of, and it does look very similar to this one. Maybe not completely like it, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Hmm. Can I go around it here? All right very interesting here I'll see if I can get a selfie in here with it hey I'm back in Paducah since I seen that horse watering fountain in Mayfield I decided to go back and revisit the one here in Paducah here it is right here it's on Walter Jaton Boulevard we'll get a little bit closer here I don't know if this, it's got a lot of shrubs around it, so you can't see like the bottom part of it real well. But uh, here's what it looks like. It's got a plaque on it, just like the one in Mayfield. It says 1907, presented by the National Humane Alliance, Herman Lee Enzyme founder. Uh, there's also a little monument here at the bottom too. Let's see. This horse watering fountain moved by Beasley Monument Company 15 feet southward from a former location June 1, 1979 at the direction of H. Eugene Catterjohn Jr. This marker placed September 1993. Okay, there we go. This is it right here. I'll kind of go around it so you can see it. Again, at this top part I believe is where horses drank and then there's some kind of there's some places there at the bottom where uh, dogs drink we'll kind of go around it here if I don't get ran over um, another thing this is on one of the flood wall murals here in Paducah if you're not from here we got uh, flood wall murals uh, near the river which are really nice but this is uh, on one of those flood wall murals it looks like it, it was in front of the maybe originally it was in front of the uh, market house I think when I get done here I'll take a picture of that and just post it at the end of this video here but yeah it uh, it has, it's on one of the murals and you can there's a horse drinking out of it and again it looks like that it was in front of uh, the market house where the uh, the market house theater is right now downtown of course well anyway this is it I think when I get done here what I'll do is I'm gonna go down to the river and take a picture of that mural so you can uh, get an idea of what that looks like here is the flood wall mural that has the horse watering fountain on it. Uh, I made a mistake when I said it was in front of the market house. It was not. It was in a different location, which I'll get to here in a minute. But here is the, uh, the mural. I'll show it to you there. You can see a dog drinking out of it. See the horses drinking from it. And uh, here is the monument for it we'll look at. It kind of gives a little bit of a history for it.
This horse drinking fountain was presented to the city of Paducah in 1907 by the National Humane Society, founded by Harmon Lee Ensign. Fountains like this were presented to cities throughout the United States. Frederick Tillman, son of General Lloyd Tillman and Vice President of the Society, requested one of the fountains for Paducah. The two-ton fountain, made of polished main granite, provided purified city water to horses and dogs on Broadway at 10th Street. This, the fountain lost its practical value as automobiles replaced horses. Sponsored by Eugene and Mary Lou Louise Ketterjohn. Okay. Here it is again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until next time, bye.